Hi, Hiram here. Today I'm going to go over making a remote feeder tube for the Flat Cat Gear IsoClean 2 stove, the isopropyl stove. If you've bought this and you have the one with the port on the side and didn't buy the remote feeder, I'll give a link down below to Flat Cat Gear's site where he sells this stuff. But if you got one of these and you never did get the remote feeder, I'm going to show you how to make one today. Now you could use it with the one that does have the hole in it and I think it'll work on the old IsoClean stoves. It just doesn't have the hole to hold the tube in place so you have to be kind of careful. Now I did a couple of tries before I made one like this, I don't know if you can see it. This is out of eighth inch capillary tubing, copper tubing. This is the kind of stuff that they use on refrigeration. <coughs> Excuse me. I thought it would, it fits in the hole real nice. The hole is about an eighth of an inch big or a little bit larger. Maybe a sixteenth, I forget now. But you have to have tubing that'll fit into that and I thought this would work. Plus it's fairly easy to bend if you have the tools. Well, this shape was a total, wow. It was wild. I wish I had made some video on it. But then I tried another shape that was closer to the shapes that uh, John over Flat Cat Gear is using on his. Can you see that? A little bit wider of a shape. Again with the eighth inch uh, capillary tubing. And this is the video I did on how this acts up. This is the one where I made the remote feed tube using the eighth inch capillary tubing, the copper tubing. Uh, I think you saw it spurt off there. The inner opening of this tube is so small that this acts more like a uh, rocket flame or rocket nozzle. Watch, I'll give it a small push. I mean, I didn't even push down the uh, pump hard, just a little bit. And it just comes flying out of there. So the capillary tubing, the copper capillary tubing, just doesn't work. It, the, inner, the idea of it is just too small. It uh, forces the alcohol out and it just kind of goes everywhere. So no using the capillary tubing. So I think you can see that using this tubing wasn't a good idea. The inside diameter of this is just too small that the alcohol comes shooting out uh, with a velocity that just sprays it all over the, the hot can. And even when it's just sitting there by itself, it kind of spurts like the tube heats up and shoots out alcohol on its own. So if you're going to make one of your own, the capillary tubing, uh -uh, don't use. Then I made one out of copper tubing, or brass tubing I should say. This is the kind of stuff you can get at hobby stores. You know, big foot long pieces like this. I don't know if you'd be able to see this, but this has a much larger hole through it. The inside diameter is much larger so you don't get that squirting effect. I don't know if you'll be able to see the difference here or not. I mean a minuscule hole on this versus this. Again, it's a 12 inch piece. I cut it in half with a tubing cutter and then I just kind of formed it using these bender springs. You can get this at Harbor Freight or places like that. This is from an old project, but uh, it works great. It just, the tubing, now this is too big, but it comes with different diameters. It just slides over the tubing, and then you can bend it however way you want, gently. If you just take the tubing and try to bend it, it'll flatten it out and pinch off at the bends. So you need something like this, or if you want to take the time, fill the tube up with sand. Oh, uh, let's see, where was I? So, this I made this one out of the brass tubing, and I also made one out of aluminum. When I went back to get a new package of the tubing so I could show it, they didn't have any, but they did have aluminum tubing. This is one eighth inch aluminum tubing. It's four pieces, a foot long, and it was two ninety nine. So you could make yourself a whole pile out of these. My only concern with this is the melting point of aluminum 
is much lower than of brass so we'll have to see what happens but my first test with this it worked great but let's try it with the brass one just I'm gonna put it on my pump system the other thing you have to worry about is what the inner diameter of your hose is compared to this you just have to match them up so that goes on like so and then this goes in through the feeder hole like so and you end up having to turn the tube around so that it keeps everything in line but just like that but I think like I said earlier you could do it with the isoclean that doesn't have the hole in it it just oops can you see that it just fits over like so now you don't have anything holding it in place so you'll have to be careful as far as not winging the the hose around so this is empty let me pump a couple of pumps in here get some alcohol in there isopropyl alcohol 91 percent like this so there you have your burner just want to wait to, for this to warm up a little bit you saw in the earlier video with the capillary tubing when I would pump it the thing would go wild so now we'll do it here got a flame heating up pump it now this is a full pump oops that was my talking there it doesn't go wild like the other one did the uh, alcohol doesn't come out with a large velocity and spray all over so you need to have tubing with a larger inner diameter that will fit through the hole and the same thing with the copper I mean it worked the same or not the copper the aluminum worked exactly the same so if you can't find copper tubing or brass tubing try the aluminum See, and then we can just just pump it now you have to be careful that you don't pump so much in there that it goes up past the bottom of the large holes on the bottom that's your thing to have to worry about but it works so I have a couple of tests now that I want to do using this for a long term for a, a, a large boiling system but there's that so I'll, I'll leave links down below for how you can get to flat cat gears site where he has these on sale and he you know doesn't seem to have any problem if people want to make their own it's not all that hard to do so I thank you for watching I look forward to your input questions remarks helpful suggestions and as always watch for my buddy Max bye now